Did you do it? It's 12.26 a.m. July 25th, 2018. And uh, what I'm about to show you is images that have been taken down from the archives and are no longer available for public view. I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can because I got quite a few images. And uh, I'm going to give you about two seconds per image. And, and none of these are available, okay? Not going to give you too much commentary, but uh, I might talk about a couple of them. Any of these pictures that you want to do a screenshot of and email me uh, a requisition on, I'll, I'll answer any questions about the dates or whatever. But uh, these are all images that have been taken down off the GOES satellite archives. Now, these are starting April 20th, and if the eclipse uh, season mirrors itself in the fall as it did in the spring uh, April 2nd would be the equivalent of October 4th so we should see similar activity on the goes in early October October 4th is what we should be looking at if they don't edit the images I currently don't have access to any of those they got me uh, censored right now cool lens flare this is the Himawari side right now that's not there's a uh, April 2nd The shape of an Indian head, Jim saw. Pareidolia. I got it. Stray light, folks. Indian head. There's our little friend. Look at that. There he is. Back in early April, he was visiting us. April 2nd, the 420 in the morning, he was over there. At 3.30 in the morning, he was over there. Right there. This is actually March 30th. It's our only images that are in March. That's pretty cool. Just a lens flare. But there's something else I'm going to show you about this location. Maybe Blue Kachina for those Blue Kachina fans. Or maybe a Blue Moon. Now that, that image there and that kind of have similarities to me that's a video off of YouTube in Jerusalem or Israel somewhere okay, there's a Eastern Pacific plate stray light all these images are gone you won't get them anywhere else I'm hoping I'm giving you enough time to pause it on your end and then if you can screenshot those, if you want have any questions, I'll, uh, I'll give you the dates those were taken. And then we could do some math and figure out on what day in the fall you should see something very similar. So if they don't edit the, uh, the real-time feed, then we should see almost the exact same thing coming up in the fall, okay? It's the Himawari side at this moment. What I'm looking at is this red hue, this cloud, that red cloud pattern or something over there. These are all images that you'll never see ever again anywhere else. So I'll give them to you. Just, just email, email me. The red hue is what I'm getting with the orange glow is what really caught my attention on that. It's different and odd and it doesn't happen. Well, it should happen again this fall, though. See that red hue? That's April 4th. 
So that might be like October 8th, something there, something like that. That was caught on the Himawari side. Now there's Blue Kachina or the Blue Moon or whatever you want to call it. This is in Croatia, actually. It's a live uh, webcam. Okay, that's uh, Colorado State. L2 accumulated group counts is where you'll see those kind of uh, signatures. That's April 6th at uh, 5.15 in the morning. Remember, the sun is high noon over like Bangkok, Thailand, somewhere over there. Four thirty zero four thirty UTC on April sixth, so that'd be like October eighth or something. Coming up in the fall, you'll see stuff like this. You should see if they don't edit it. It's just stray light. They have nothing to fear. They don't. They don't need to hide this from us. We know about it. It's just a. It's just an accident. You just sent that satellite up there up unprepared. You only knew about this since two thousand thirteen. How it would affect the uh, the lightning imagers. Pretty cool, folks. That's uh, Salt Lake. Look at that. It's eating Salt Lake City. That Peridola, that's a monster, Jim Saw. It's April 8th, 0430 UTC energy pattern. That's the L2 accumulated group counts. L2 accumulated group energy. That's the different types of signatures you'll look at. Just got some close-up views. There's that uh, blooming swath of lac, how they call it. And that's coming from the southern hemisphere. That's the northern hemisphere. That's, it was even showing up on the next lab, College of DuPage. That's cool, folks. I love that one. Uh, I think that's the Himawari side. Probably April 8th. Let's see, there's an orange glow up here. So it might be our side, the ghost side. I'm not sure. It's just a close-up view. Looks like Hawaii there. It's just straight light, folks. Remember, the sun is high noon over uh, in the Mideast. Or, I'm not, I'm sorry, over uh, the Far East, China somewhere. Okay, now, see, this is not at early. Okay, this is the Himawari side, so this is like 1,300 hours or something. 1,400 hours. It occurs at a different time over there. But I can clear you up on that if you ask me uh, through an email. What times those were. Now, I'm not sure why I got this. This might be the eclipse going across. Yes, that's the eclipse, August 21st. This is pretty cool. Now they had a uh, in Siberia at about 11:30 on July 20th. They had a uh, the sun disappeared. Well, they uh, they blacked me out July 19th late at night, and uh, they know I watched the Himawari side, and that sun blackout would have showed up on that Himawari 8 satellite somewhere, folks. So and they only give you about seven or eight days worth of archives. So if you go back through the Himawari 8 side and go through each channel, you might be able to see some indications of that Siberia incident that Mr. MBB was talking about. Well, you should. Like I said, they shut me down July 19th at like 11.30 at night, and that happened the following morning at 11.30 uh, Siberia time in the morning. And the sun disappeared, I guess, for like three hours out there, over there. See, that energy on both sides, that all occurred on one flash, on, in one time sequence. 
Look at, look at that. It's just 